your Grand Island tastings and Kearney local forecast. Welcome back. Well, I've been tra tracking uh, several thunderstorms over the past several hours today that have been producing some tornadoes and some hail over an inch and a half in diameter. Some reports have been nearly two inches as well, but they are starting to move through the Tri-Cities area right now. Taking a look at current conditions here on our SkyCam, we do see a lot of rain off towards our north. This is looking north along Highway 34 right now. Temperatures around the area are rather cool compared to the past couple of days, but that's because we've got a lot of rain cooled air that is blowing through. Some of the winds have been a little bit gustier than other times, but it's not been as bad as the past couple of days. However, some of these thunderstorms have been moving through with severe winds as well. We've got a severe thunderstorm watch from border to border across the state of Nebraska today. We were included in this more recently here around the Tri-Cities area, but this goes mostly until 11 or 12 o'clock overnight tonight. Night. Let's take a look at the satellite and radar now. We've got a lot of activity. One thing I will call your attention to before we focus to the near term, we've got a line of thunderstorms developing towards the panhandle. That's going to affect us overnight tonight. But earlier, like I said, we've had several reports of tornadoes come through. Um, some have come through. Uh, areas around just to the southwest of Holdridge from Phelps into Kearney County, uh, but also in Harlan County, just just to the east of Arapahoe, there was a funnel cloud that was reported off that direction, but um, fairly uh, wide tornadoes were reported as they headed from uh, Phelps County into Kearney County. Currently around the Tri-Cities area, this is looking just around Hastings. We do see a large complex of thunderstorms. Um, some have a severe thunderstorm warning on them as well. As we take a look at those right now, we can uh, pause that radar loop right here. We do see an area that is um, slightly a uh, hook echo a little bit, but most of the winds have been uh, gusting and, and not rotating. So that is one good sign. Currently, this severe thunderstorm warning, it only goes uh, until the next little bit, until 7 o'clock. And then we may see that continued off towards the east over the next little while as it heads from Webster, Knuckles County into possibly Thayer County or Fillmore County. As we look a little bit wider off towards our east, though, we do have a lot of lightning with these thunderstorms, but I am going to take that off just briefly so that we can see how heavy this rain is. We've got a lot of very heavy rain and a tornado warning off towards uh, Saline County right now. So this is the area that I'm looking at that has a little bit of rotation with it. And some um, rotation has been stronger at other times. Some has been a little bit weaker, but really across the entire area, all the way up to York County, they've got very heavy rain right now. And this will continue over the next little bit. Off to the northeast part of the state, they do have um, a, an enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms as well as here around the Tri-Cities. But most of our risk has started to diminish a little bit as some of these thunderstorms have been clearing out. So that risk it will continue over the next several hours as well, and then the Storm Prediction Center may update that as well. As we look at the temperatures, we've got a lot of cool air that has been uh, cooled down by the rain and by a cold front that pushed through. But look, it's still 91 in Hebron and Beatrice versus the lower 70s here around the Tri-Cities. So that uh, temperature gradient is uh, accentuated by the fact that we've got a lot of uh, uh, winds out of the north and uh, there's rain columns coming down, bringing a lot of cooler air to the surface. So a lot of winds converging right here. And this boundary is right where we've seen some of the enhanced um, circulation of some of those thunderstorms that we saw, bringing a little bit of tornado risk as well as some confirmed tornadoes. As we look through future cast now, remember I said this line off towards the panhandle, that's what's going to be coming towards the Tri-Cities overnight tonight. Well, like I said, it comes through very quickly. By midnight, we've got some more widespread rain, but we could be seeing some heavy thunderstorms with this as well as possibly some severe weather. As that clears out through Sunday, just a few more showers off towards the north waking up, but we will wake up to a much more calm day tomorrow. Temperatures will be still rather cool, and we will be seeing the chance for weather uh, being severe, being much less as we head through our Sunday. Now, as we take a look at the evening, we will see those temperatures cooling down uh, rather calmly, but it will be a cooler day coming up tomorrow as we see those temperatures again only in the 80s. We haven't had these temperatures very cool over the past several days, but we will be seeing uh, those temperatures get back into the 90s as we head through the next couple of days as well. So it's been a rather active day today, and like I said, we do still have that tornado warning, Danielle, but um, I'll be tracking that a little bit more and uh, we'll have that in the uh, last weather we have at the end of the half hour. Okay, great. Thanks so much.